Welcome back to Lucky Paradox. Okay, so uh, our morning passed here on Friday, May 12th, and I don't know, did we even work? I think we just spent it talking with Maxi, but whatever. We're going to move on, and the first thing I want to do is go over to Miss Pumpkin and talk with Layla. Hey, Lucky. What brings you here today? I was hoping to find Layla. I'd like to help find the screwdriver that she'd lost. Since Layla lost that, she's been in a very bad mood. I was thinking of going to the Common Rainer store to buy a replacement. But I haven't had time for that because I've had a lot of work here. Then I'll go to the store and see if I can find one. It would be very kind of you. I like to help. You should ask for a hexagonal screwdriver H2.5. If it's a different uh, size, it will not work. I hope you can remember that name. I've already forgotten it. Don't worry, I have a good memory. The Common Rainer store is located across Baker Street from the Yorokobi. I got it. Thank you very much for the help, Gia. Goodbye, Rook, and I wish you luck with that. All right, now hopefully this screwdriver isn't going to cost me an arm and a leg because I only have, you know, two of each of those. Uh, Alice should be my best bet for asking about the screwdriver. A hexagonal screwdriver H2.5? That's something very specific. I don't have anything like that. I think your only possibility is to ask Rainer if he can get it, although the price is usually higher. The guy is able to get anything you ask for. What bad luck. I am sorry I cannot be more helpful. Hmm. I guess there is no other alternative. Hi, my name is Liz Grant. Nice to meet you. Um, she's got cute pink eyes. Uh, why don't you say anything? Have we met before? That's not the question you should be asking. What do you want, Liz? How can I help you, Liz? How was your day, Liz? Uh, can you get to the point? All right, all right. You need to stop being so annoying. That's what Layla always, it was always saying. I was watching you from afar when you were talking to Layla for the last time, and... You were spying on me? No. M maybe just a little. I confess, I was spying. Please don't kill me. I promise you, this is all for the good of Argleton. Let's just say I stole a certain screwdriver from Layla while no one was watching. Do you have the screwdriver? Yes, yes, yes. But there's a good explanation for that. Layla has been working for some time on a super suspicious machine that could have major consequences for life in Argleton. As I researched about her project, everything seemed to indicate that it was a machine made with the intention of bringing the internet to Argleton. But I'm not easily fooled. Do you want to know what the answer is? Uh, what? Aliens! I am absolutely sure that it's an object to com of communication with aliens. So I stole her screwdriver to disassemble the machine so I could investigate further. And I guess that was without her authorization. Of course not. Or maybe yes. But if Layla finds out about all this, she would kill me, and I don't want to die so young. Since I know her training schedules, I just had to wait for the right time to do my job. But after disassembling the machine, what happened? Just at that moment, I heard a noise. Apparently, it was Layla returning early from her training. So I escaped as fast as I could through the window of her room. What does all this have to do with the screwdriver? Well, at that point, I made a tactical escape by running as fast as I could, and I brought the screwdriver with me. 
I forgot to leave it in its place. Every time I've tried to give it back to Layla, she's so pissed off that it scares the hell out of me. The last time I took one of her things without permission, she told me, If I ever see you again, crazy squirrel, snooping through my stuff, I'll rip your eyes out. I can assume that you want me to return the screwdriver to Layla. Yes, you're great. You readed my mind. Here you go. You're very kind. Bye. Okay, a nut job <laughs> thinks she's making a machine to communicate with aliens. But then again, uh, in this game, who knows? Maybe she's right. Uh, she's gone. I can't believe someone in, of her size can run so fast. It is the personification of the Roadrunner. I see you got what you were looking for. It seems so. I hope I'm not too late. Layla? Gia told me you came here to buy the screwdriver. I hope you didn't waste your money. I'm absolutely certain that it'll show up at some point. I think you're in luck. Don't tell me that's what's in your hand is what I'm thinking. Surprise! I can't believe you actually kept your word. I thought you were kidding when you said about helping me. I, I didn't want you to waste your money on buying this. I don't... No, it's not necessary. But... Don't ruin the moment! <laughs> That's rude! Alright, I'll tr try to cool off a little. Why don't you come with me? I want to show you my progress in this thing. And this way I can make the internet possible in Argleton. I see I've left you speechless. I wonder what you'll say next. You're awesome? You're brilliant? You Are you a genius? I wasn't understanding anything at all until you said about the internet. Meh. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. Give it to me. God, she's so bossy. Listen. If you leave it here and turn it on, the magic happens. Now, you have phone signal and internet as well. I still need to make some adjustments. The signal's lost after a few minutes and only works when you leave the phone here. But imagine doing this on a larger scale. Arkleton could be connected to the rest of the world. Too bad I have no one to text. So sad. Although, to be honest, the life of a genius like me is also lonely. And your parents? When they got divorced, they each went their separate ways. My father and my oldest brother are dedicated to photographing animals in the wild, mainly birds. And the Earth's magnetic field in Argleton has a strange anomaly. It's rare to see birds around here. It is difficult for them to fly as they're completely dis disoriented. That's why my father and my oldest brother left Argleton. My other two brothers moved in with my mother to study at the university. My mother, as a lawyer, was never going to find a job here and, well, nothing interesting happens here anyway. How many siblings do you have? I'm the youngest one of five siblings. That's a lot of siblings. Bah! Let's stop talking about it. I want to give you back the screwdriver that you bought, although it is suspiciously similar to the one I had. It's a gift. Really? You are so kind. Now I feel like I'm in debt with you, though. You don't have to worry about it. Well, it's about time to say goodbye. Brooke, before you leave, would you like to go out and jog with me one of these days? Jog? With two G's? I like to go running in the afternoons. Sounds good to me. Come and pick me up here to go together. Whenever you want, of course. I don't want you to feel obligated. Now I'll stop taking up your time. Fly away. 
After saying goodbye to Layla, you go back to your room at Barry's. And we now have a new inter interaction available for Layla. Chat at evening. I Wait, I thought we had a new interaction of being able to jog with her. But whatever, we're back here. It's the evening time. And wow, uh, we met a, another new nutty girl. And uh, we got Layla her screwdriver. So good day overall, I guess. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.